Today's passage comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 51, verses 10, and it says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. This Bible verse really hits home for me. For someone like me with ADHD, the idea of waiting for anything, let alone enduring a refining process, is tough. When we ask God to create in us a pure heart, we are essentially signing up for the kind of intentional work that isn't easy. It's like refining gold. You've got to go through the fire to burn off all of the impurities. Recently, a friend of mine has been using this phrase a lot that's really stuck to me. We do hard things. And you know what? I want to embrace those hard things because it's through those challenges that I become more of the person God has called me to be. When I read this Bible verse, that's what I hear. It's not about taking the easy path, but rather it's about allowing God to refine us through the hard stuff. Think about it. The process of becoming more like Christ means facing challenges, trials, and things that just don't make sense. But it's in those hard moments that we grow the most. The author of these words, David, he knew this. He was running for his life at times, facing challenges, yet he still prayed, God, keep working in me, even if it's painful. It's like when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane saying, not my will, but your will be done. The second part of this verse is crucial. Renew a steadfast spirit in me. It's all about asking God for the resiliency to keep going, even when life throws curveballs. Sometimes we feel like we can handle the struggle if it's short, but what happens when the fight drags on longer than expected? This is where that steadfast spirit comes in. The strength not to just endure, but to keep the faith and to keep trusting that God is doing something in us and through. It reminds me of the movie, The Lord of the Rings, when Gandalf did not want to go through the mines of Moria, but he had no choice. He had to face that demon. And even when it seemed like the battle was over, it wasn't. The fight continued. And through it, Gandalf transformed. He went from Gandalf the Grey to Gandalf the White, completely changed and purified. So the big takeaway, we do hard things. And we do them because those hard things shape us into who God has called us to be. Trust the process. Even when it doesn't make sense, even when it's painful, and even when it drags on, God is refining you, preparing you for what is next. Stay steadfast. Because on the other side of this, there is victory. There is growth. And there's the person God is shaping you to be. All right, everyone. Have an amazing day. God bless.